been a part of a game like this at all at any level of basketball? I mean, that's probably the craziest you know, game I've ever been part of four overtimes. You know, so many so many guys hitting big shots, you know, making big free throws. It's just it's fun, man. Jason, I, go ahead. No, that was just crazy. That was just amazing. If I, if I had one memory from Wyoming, this would be it. Like, this would be tonight. Jason, I know you've been shooting better anywhere, anyway recently, but, you know, those first seven shots looked like you were just – you know, laser focus. What what was going right for you tonight, especially you know with those first seven? Um, I mean, I just I mean I got open I got some open looks and they went in tonight and um, I mean I'm just trying to keep my confidence up. I'm gonna visit my teammates. If, you know, I have full confidence in me and my coaches. So um, you know if I'm open, I'm gonna shoot it. And tonight, I mean at least in the first part of the games in the second half, uh, they were going in for me. Morris, it looked like uh, you might have made one of the biggest plays of the game in that fourth overtime, getting to that three ball. What did you kind of see developing on that play in the corner where they kind of penetrated and kicked? Um, actually, I kind of see myself messing up. I think that's what helped me with like, giving more effort because it was strong side help. So I feel like just knowing that I messed up, it's like I got to make up for it. So I, I had to do something. So it was just extra. Most of the effort, like Coach said. In a game like this, I mean, there's some had chances to win it. And any of the regulation and over times there's momentum switches changes I mean what what's the difference in winning a game like this and in your mind you know just just, we just, just kept fighting um, we all just kept fighting together and um, even we, we I mean we missed some I mean I missed some big shots in the overtimes to give us the win you know we all made mistakes but we never got down on each other we stuck together and you know, we just kept fighting until the very end they can each of the first three they were the ones to score the final points and you know you guys couldn't hold that lead just how frustrating was it to not Get that final punch. Yeah, it, it was frustrating, and they were they were hitting those big shots. But I think we just came together, like Jay Mac said, as a team, and just said, "All right, let's let's move on. Let's let's do what we can the next overtime or whatever, you know." So we really came together as a team and, and fought hard throughout the whole game. I know you guys only had two guys foul out, but you know Morris comes in and hits some big free throws. I mean, just how you know there wasn't a whole lot of rotations going on very much. So just you know how hard was that, or when, when you're out there, you're not really thinking about it. Too. Um, yeah, it's all, it's always hard to lose people when they foul out, but we always have guys like Mo and the other the guys on the bench who are always ready to come in and play, and that's what we love about our team is we have we have a deep bench and everybody's always ready to play. So, Morris, I know you've had a pretty difficult year so far. What's it like to you know be able to play those crunch time minutes tonight and to knock those free throws down? I could I could honestly say everybody was happy about the win. I mean myself included, but I told my I told my teammate Sam I was like, man, I felt healthy. Yeah. So that was, I was like, I'd probably cry later because, you know, like, this is what I always dreamed of. So I'm just glad that I got to be a part of this tonight and contribute.